Apple's iOS 14 dreaded update is officially here. Is this the end of Facebook ads as we know it? What's popping people? It's your boy the Beast of Ecom and I am back with another video dropping the simple you already know, value bombs. If you are new here, then welcome. I drop weekly videos showing you how you can make more money with your e-commerce and drop shipping stores and how you can run Facebook adverts and all of that good stuff. So the dreaded Apple iOS update is officially here. So in this video, what I'm gonna do is cover what are the changes that are being made and how they're going to impact Facebook adverts what are some of the things that you can expect going forward from today with your Facebook adverts? And most importantly, what are the two main things that you have to do right after watching this video? If you do find this video helpful, then please do drop a like on this video. Helps out the channel, helps the video grow, gives the algorithm some love, and I'd appreciate it so, so much. And of course, if you are new here, then please do consider smashing that subscribe button with the notification bell on so that you stay up to date with all of my latest content. Okay, so I'm not gonna go into too much technical detail of the Apple iOS update because I've already kind of covered that in another video and I'll link that video there'll be a pop-up banner in one of the top hand corners so you can go and check that video out but for anyone who don't know what the Apple um, iOS update is and the effect that it may have on or the effect that it will have essentially on Facebook ads is essentially now all apps will be required to uh, explicitly get permission from the person um, to be able to track them. So f uh, Apple have implemented what's called app tracking transparency. And uh, when you update your phone, okay, it will look like something like this picture here. And when you open up your Facebook app or any sort of app, it will say, you know, allow Facebook to track your activities across uh, other apps uh, and websites and those kind of things. Now, if you click do not track, then essentially Facebook don't get access to what's called your IDFA number. I believe it's called. And again, if you don't know what that is, um, I believe I've left the link, I've covered it in that video. So go and feel free to check out that video and then come back to this one if you want. Um, but basically it's going to not pass on as much data as what Facebook get at the moment in time, okay? And of course, if they click allow, then of course you get all of that. It's business as usual, essentially they get access to all of that information, okay? Um, now, obviously the implications of this will be essentially massive in terms of uh, how many people actually opt out and how many people actually opt in, right? So Facebook put this out, uh, this uh, article on the 21st of April, which was about five days ago. Okay, um, obviously saying that Apple have confirmed the update and will be happening next week, which is this week, the week commencing the 26th of, um, of April, which is today going forward. Um, and obviously they said that this will create limitations for businesses which are using um, Facebook advertising for driving conversions through to their websites, right? Facebook, of course, have had to make changes and it said that these changes, of course, will uh, restrict, aggregate and delay reporting. Now, I'm, of course, getting... I'm not getting great reporting at the moment in time. I'm not sure about you guys on your ad accounts, but my reporting is awful and I only re expect the reporting to get uh, worse as more people opt out. Now, what I will say, of course, is that with this update, people don't really know how long it's going to take to fully get the grasp of this update. Um, people don't update their phones straight away. I know I definitely don't. I always delay that. Um, but it could be three months. It could be six months until the full effects are actually in place of how many people have kind of opted out. OK, um, now I will just say down here with limitations. Now, when we click on some of the limitations, OK, um, essentially uh, when we scroll down the confer, uh, where is the limitations? So if you keep scrolling down, essentially there's going to be delayed reporting. OK, now what it will say is that real time support, real time reporting will not be supported and data may be delayed up to three days. OK. Um, so if you anything conversions that you have on day one, any conversions that may happen on day one uh, may not be reported on day one. So you may be looking at your ads and thinking it's been an absolute trash day, uh, you know, in turn off campaigns and those kind of things. But essentially that data won't roll in until, you know, especially if people have opted out, may not roll in and may not be accounted for in your dashboard, um, you know, until kind of three days, which is going to help with cutting losses and scaling and those kind of things. Um, you know, and it says here for ISO 14 app installs, website conversion events reported will be based on, uh, will be reported based on a time that they are reported to Facebook, uh, not when the time they occurred. So pretty much what I've just kind of like mentioned, right? Um, they'll only show up in the dashboard when they are reported to Facebook and not in real time. Another thing it says here, which is pretty 
uh, not great as well. No support for breakdowns. So, you know, it's not going to be able to account for those people who have opted out. So it says for both app and web conversions, delivery and action breakdowns, such as breaking down by age, gender, region, placements will not be supported as well, uh, which again, isn't the best thing um, in terms of reporting as well. So you can see why Facebook have been kicking up a bit of a fuss in terms of this whole update, uh, having a massive effect on people who are running Facebook adverts, okay? Um, now, again, down here, it says some of the things that you need to do. And these are two things that you have to do as of right now. So, you know, after you watch this video, go and go and do exactly what I'm about to say. Right. So first and foremost, you want to verify your domain. OK, um, I'll try and put this on the screen. Uh, I've, I've not shot a video but on how to do this, but it's, it's very easy. I pretty much just use the meta tag way and it's simply simply just a case of just copy and pasting in the meta tag and you can just verify your domain name. So if you haven't done that yet, make sure you do that after this video. OK, very easy to do. Uh, go and verify your domain. Uh, second of all, you want to make sure that you set up and prioritize your eight web uh, events per domain per domain in the events manager. Again, this is very, very easy to do as well. Um, Again, you can just pretty much just Google how to do this or, or watch a YouTube video on how to do this. It's very, very easy to do. Um, so make sure you do that as well. And of course, some of you guys may see some warnings inside of Facebook saying, you know, ads may be paused and those kind of things. And you can just go through and make sure that you click those that they are obviously complete. Right. So like I mentioned, if you're not doing those two things, go and do those two things as of right now. So we'll say, okay, uh, and like I mentioned, events from ISO devices that have opted out of the prompt uh, will not be included in your website custom audiences. So a lot of people have said that this update, of course, the more people who opt out, again, this could be six months, it could be three months. We don't know the actual extent of how long it's going to take, uh, but your website custom audiences from um, your people who have viewed content, add to cart, uh, purchase, those kind of uh, custom audiences may decrease in size. Uh, it's worth noting that, of course, those audiences that are on Facebook, such as people who have liked your page, people who have uh, saved your Instagram posts, uh, people who have viewed your video, those won't be affected because they've been taken actually on Facebook. I believe that is, uh, that is to be true anyway, okay? Like I've already mentioned, uh, delivery and action breakdowns will not be supported. Um, so it includes the demographic breakdowns such as age, gender and region, like I've already mentioned. Um, now, what Facebook have said, OK, is that towards the end, um, we are investing in new approaches. OK, and they, you know, I have not full well confidence in Facebook. Um, I don't know how much their engineers get paid and developers get paid, but they will come up with a solution to help things overcome this update, essentially, you know, um, and that's what they've been working on. I thought this was kind of funny as well. Uh, at Facebook, we build privacy uh, into everything we do. What? You know, you can kind of take that with a grain of salt. <laughs> Um, and then, of course, they've said that down here we are exploring um, exploring advertising solutions such as aggregated data. And again, I'm not a, uh, I'm not a developer, so I don't fully understand this. But they mentioned something called federated learning, uh, which I had a brief look at. And again, I don't fully understand it, but essentially it's just going to help uh, with keeping privacy a lot more, uh, keeping data, sorry, a lot more personal and private and, and private, essentially, while still helping businesses uh, and ad platforms. OK. So that's pretty much it on that front. Like I mentioned, if you are not setting up your domain name, make sure, of course, you do that ASAP. OK, uh, other things that you want to be doing as well is if you haven't made sure, of course, you are setting up U uh, UTMs. Uh, that's very easy to do as well. Facebook have got a UTM platform, um, a UTM builder inside of their ads platform. So make sure you're using that so that you can track stuff on uh, Google Analytics. Um, in terms of Facebook, in terms of my personal outlook on Facebook. I don't think it's going anywhere. I'm still going to continually to use Facebook to uh, run traffic to my stores and grow my business. And also uh, one thing you also want to be doing as well is don't try to rely on solely Facebook, especially in 2021. Something that you should most definitely be doing is an omni channel uh, marketing approach. And that's something that uh, I haven't been the best at doing, if I'm being perfectly honest, because my bread and butter has always been Facebook. Uh, but this week I'm focusing on Snapchat ads, which works in terms of setting things up, you know, um, a bit like Facebook, they will still be impacted by ISO update, um, the iOS, sorry, update. But essentially, you want to be looking at 
um, you know, a omni-channel marketing so that you can make sure that you are capturing as many people as you possibly can and not just relying on Facebook. This certainly isn't the end of Facebook adverts by a long shot. And I think that it will still be one of the best platforms to drive traffic to your websites. Uh, of course, as marketers and as entrepreneurs, we all need to adapt to change, whether it's good change or whether it's bad change, we still need to adapt regardless. And I've been advertising on the platform since 2016 and the amount of changes and red tape and different changes that have been introduced over those years has been astronomical, but we still managed to stay on top and uh, continue to push forward and drive traffic. So, you know, don't be scared or don't, this this, this isn't a video of scaremongery and, and don't worry about other things which are out there. Um, continue to look at the data and most importantly, make as much uh, decisions as you possibly can. Great decisions as you possibly can uh, using the tools that you have. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please do drop a like on this video. And of course, do subscribe if you are a new subscriber. Make sure of course you go do those two things. Go and verify your domain, it takes two seconds. And of course, make sure that you go and map those events as well to your pixel. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Will you personally be opting in yourself to allow Facebook to track you when you get that notification on your Facebook app or on any other app? Will you be opting in? Let me know in the comments down below. I would normally say hit me up on Instagram, but this time I'm gonna say hit me up on Twitter. I am trying to grow my Twitter account and that is Beast of Ecom. So make sure you go and drop me a follow on Twitter. But that is it for this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. Take care and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah.